I don't know how good this video is going to be, but it's going to be good enough. Uh, this is my GSG Firefly. Now the decocker works again. Uh, there's a little spring in here, but that wasn't the problem. It actually got bent, and it was bent because I've shot about probably easy 5,000 rounds to this gun. Uh, the decocker goes in between the trigger or not the trigger but the between here and a little metal plate there's a little uh, or like a metal spring and it wouldn't decock anymore and I was like damn it and, and you know I've, I've been having some problems with this gun I'm trying to shoot it and shoot it and the trigger would just get stuck it would just get stuck like that and I was having to actually unload it you know Pull the trigger back. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Uh, can't do it without the mag in it. This give me problems. Oh, <laughs> the decocker works again. Well, it was bent to shit. Bent all to shit, and I ended up having to use these. C-ring pliers. I took off the, you know, the pointy shit. You know, if you know what C-ring pliers are, I call them C-rings. I don't know what you call them, but you know they're opposite. You know, when you squeeze them, they, you know, like that. But I use this part on this side, and actually, <laughs> there's some nicks in this from where I was using. I had to try to bend it back into where it would go back up in there and work and and get between the trigger and that spring or damn it the hammer it's like saying brake rotors or calipers and hot water heater or water heater you know, sorry I'm but I kept having to bend it and bend it and I was like damn and, and the more I got to looking at it I put a picture of it on my, on my Instagram. I'm like, man, this thing is fucked up. It's 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 been worn the fuck out. And the reason is, is it plays a part in the in the hammer working, you know, with the shit inside the slide on this gun. This is a GSU Firefly. The hammer hits the firing pin back here, and it goes through. And that's what hits the shell and to fire the bullet. And I'm like, hmm. That's, and I don't know a whole lot about guns. I really don't. Uh, but that, that that sounds just damn normal like it was when I, when I first got it. That's, that sounds brand new, even though I had to bend the shit out of it. Uh probably gonna retire this gun soon I've put a lot through it it's been through a lot I've made a bunch of videos and you know it's I didn't know how I was gonna make this video I was gonna be like you know I, I tried to rehearse it a little bit and, and I don't know I don't know how to edit edit yet so I'm mean, gonna get the gist of editing but My computer's been down since day one. So I've been trying to fucking make any goddamn YouTube videos. Uh, but I, I fixed my gun. I fixed it. And I think it will fix the problem... I think because of that little bar that the uh, 
Decocker works on. And it's right there, right there by the hammer. It's right there by the hammer. I think, and looking at it, and the way that it was beat up, it was getting stuck. And that's why it would cycle, but then it just wouldn't fire, and he had to pull the hammer back again to get it to fire. And I think that's why. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why. So, we're going to find out. Eh, eh, damn window. Let's uh put this turd back together. Ever since that issue with the decocker, it will it would not go through a whole mag without fucking up. So we're gonna put it back together right here. This is first time I put it back together. Haven't tried it since I fucked with that shit and bent it all shit. It took me like an hour and a half probably or longer. that bitch in oh, decocker decocker though oh my god yes ow oh better put safety on yes that's what I'm talking about look that that is just so satisfying to me I don't I can't explain it. Ah! The decocker works again. Before, I was having problems with it. Like, like I would have to push on this part of the grip just to get it to work. And now I know why. Because there's no resistance here on that spring. It's a, it looks like a little coil spring. There's no resistance on it. There's nothing holding it down. And the spring wasn't the problem. It was having to push the whole thing into it to get it to fucking do anything. See, we got some, uh, some bullets. I think these 